The impressive growth of the Hallyu wave can be attributable to the creative combination of addictive melodies, eye-catching choreography, diverse talents, and trendy senses of fashion, in which the idols are obviously the center of the industry, driving the growth and making it bloom. The first on the list is BTS, the global biggest boy group. The seven boys have worked up to enormous popularity on a literal world scale, penetrating and winning over the mainstream music industries in the United States, Britain, France, Germany, and Japan. Yet such international reputation doesn't mean that BTS hasn't reaped any salient achievement in the domestic industry. Although the first week chart of Music Bank was full of highly potential names, Rain, Sewon, and Hypen, and Stacey, the two most favorite songs surprisingly belong to BTS only. If you regularly keep your eyes on activities going on in K-pop, maybe you'll quickly realize which two songs are being talked about, Dynamite and Life Goes On. Despite having been released in the late August of 2020, Dynamite still managed to outshine the latest release of BTS, Life Goes On, and continued its successive achievements, bringing BTS 30 trophies in a row. With such an impressive number, there's no surprise that, until now, Dynamite is still the song receiving the largest number of trophies from weekly music shows. Sadly, BTS couldn't be at Music Bank to celebrate the success because their schedules were packed up with many other activities after the promotion of Dynamite ended. That's also the reason why, ever since BTS stopped their Dynamite promotion, Subin TXT, a senior also coming from Big Hit, had reluctantly become the trophy shipper of BTS. Besides the uncompetable performance in their homeland, BTS also topped the Billboard Artist 100 for 13 weeks after having their album debut right at the peak of everything. Additionally, the precious first position on Billboard Hot 100 chart also belonged to BTS, with their main single, Life Goes On, a song delivering BTS's encouragement and reassurances to the world where COVID-19 is in full swing. Coming back to the phenomenal song Dynamite, considering the global scale, it is now the video with the highest views in the first 24 hours with 101.1 million views, 3 million viewers in premiering time, top 104 countries, and became the first ever K-pop song to be nominated for Grammy. The next name may come as a surprise to some, because it's different from all the names on this list, since this is just an idol, not a whole group. Hope that with some salient faces popping up in your head, Jenny is one of them. Recently, on her birthday, Jenny's happiness was doubled after receiving up to two good news in just two days. Specifically, in the early morning of January 15th, her MV solo officially surpassed 600 million views on YouTube. Though Jenny had just started working as a solo artist, she quickly achieved that remarkable milestone in just two years, two months, and two days. Seems like two is a lucky number of Jenny, right? This achievement has helped Jenny consolidate the title Female Artist with the Highest Viewed MV of K-Pop. Until now, Solo ranked 4th in the top 5 videos with highest views by K-pop soloists. With such a new face like Jennie, being the only female idol making it to this list is a sounding achievement that even anti-fans have to recognize. In fact, before this 600 million views milestone, Jennie had shook the whole industry when winning over twice in the Gaon Chart Music Award for the prestigious title Artist of the Year. Even Jennie couldn't believe how big her influence was because, at the moment her name was called, she looked very surprised. However, some commented that they already saw this coming, because when Jenny debuted with Solo, her video had quickly outnumbered the views of Twice's Yes or Yes after just two weeks of releasing. Besides, the fact that the Solo MV has higher views than Blackpink's Stay MV also says a lot about Jenny's reputation. Then, on January 16th, Jenny's birthday, she suddenly opened her own YouTube channel, Jenny Ruby Jane, to cheer fans up during the pandemic time. The first video she posted was about some daily moments in her life, and bonus with the cover of When Will My Life Begin, an OST of Tangle originally sung by Mandy Moore. To Jenny's surprise, fans gave her a much more precious gift. Together, Blinks helped Jenny surpass 1 million views within roughly 12 hours, synonymous with her receiving silver and golden YouTube play buttons within the same day. Though many of Jenny's female seniors have already opened a YouTube channel, no one could achieve such significant numbers like her. As of 7 p.m. on January 3rd, 2021, Jenny had collected 5.04 million subscribers for her YouTube channel. The only video on the channel also earned 24 million views, a huge number for Jenny's debut vlogger career. Red Velvet is well known for their distinct music color in the K-pop industry. Most recently, the group released the masterpiece Psycho, 
the song quickly swept out all charts and brought the SM group a bunch of awards. First, the song alone drove Red Velvet to the second number one on world digital song sales, and is the song with longest Top the Melon chart in 2019. Within the same year, Psycho helped Red Velvet become the only girl group to appear on all Kill Korean charts, and the first group to do so was BTS. The popularity of this single was incalculable. Additionally, Red Velvet was also the only girl group to achieve a rooftop hit on Melon, rewriting their own history since Power Up a year before. In fact, Red Velvet earned the title of being the first and only girl group to top US iTunes album three times in one year, the only girl group in the history to have three albums reach first in the US iTunes globally. Not just that, Red Velvet also had a massive amount of unique listeners on Melon, which is 733,196, ranking third highest among girl groups, showing the big love Korean audiences gave them. Till present, Red Velvet even overpasses BTS in terms of a cumulative stream amount on Gaon with Psycho. In 2020, the group of five did not have a lot of professional activities. However, the girls still gained quite a few surprising achievements from their old releases. Specifically, their title track Bad Boy in the repackaging album scored 300 million views after more than two years released. By that, Red Velvet could join EXO and overpass their senior girl group SNSD, putting their fans in excitement. This is the first SM's female artist to reach the threshold. It's not true to say 2020 is a year of Red Velvet, since the girls encountered several problems, from Wendy's injury in late 2019, and Irene's crisis, to the new debut plan of SM for ESPA. But the obvious sounding achievement of this girl group is undeniable. Despite encountering tons of serious scandals related to intellectual properties, ESPA still managed to soon prove that their talents are formidable. Though The Rookie had already ended their promotion with Black Mamba, recently, on January 17th, the girls surprisingly surpassed Kyung Seo and two legendary names, Rain and JYP, to rank first on SBS Inkigayo. Having the first win with a total score of 4.097, ESPA has marked a splendid milestone in their career. Besides the impressive performances on Inkigayo, Black Mamba also did super well on YouTube with more than 100 million views and 2.4 million likes after two months of release. With those achievements, Espa is now the fifth group of SM managing to win the first trophy for the debut song. Before Espa, only legendary groups like SES, TVXQ, and SNSD could do the same. Even EXO and NCT, the two groups holding the highest innovative spirit of SM, still failed to win a trophy for their debut. When SES debuted in 1997, they received four trophies for Dream Come True. Then came TVXQ. Though Hug wasn't among the best songs of the group, they still managed to bring home six trophies for the song. For SNSD, though the girls only received one trophy for Into the New World in 2007, even until now, their position in K-pop fans' hearts still couldn't be replaced by anyone else. Hopefully, with the same number of trophies received for their debut, ESPA could do the same as SNSD. Moving on to TWICE one of the top girl groups that once was known as a digital monster in the Queen of Japan music market. Building their name from addictive songs with cute concepts that can easily spread out like wildfire, TWICE is now pursuing a more mature image, looking for more versatile concepts. Looking back to the beginning of their journey, TWICE has harvested several titles for being the first girl group to achieve the unexpected. Particularly, they are the first girl group to hold the precious De Song Song of the Year for three years in a row, the first to earn Gaon Platinum certification, to be ranked first simultaneously on Billboard World Digital Song and Billboard World Album with Twistagram. Also, with the album More and More, the nine girls set the record for the most physical sales in the first 24 hours, meaning their new single Feel Special also had 1 billion streams on Gaon platform. Twice was also the first girl group to get a PAK and 100 PAK record, the second group with the highest number of PAK up to the present. In Japanese market, their song Wake Me Up was the first music product from foreign female group to achieve double platinum certification. According to the statistics from RAIJ, BDZ was TWICE's first Japanese album, passing 250,000 physical sales, earning the five consecutive platinum certification from the association. Besides physical and digital sales, TWICE proves their huge popularity with sold-out tickets for the Japanese Dome Tour, also being the first female act ever to do so. Just a few months before, Twice Lights was cancelled due to COVID-19, leaving fans in immense regret. But the girls never let them down, 
they organized an online concert called Twice, World in a Day, which incidentally became the third most watched concert in 2020, earning great revenue of about $3 billion. Adding to the list, this incredible girl group gets two places on the top five for female K-pop idols' highest album sales of all time. Although 2020 had not welcomed the girls, as both album sales and digital data were kind of dull, Twice will soon be back to the race in 2021. Another interesting measurement of K-pop idols' popularity is the top 10 most watched fan cams. Within 2020 only, BTS accounted for half of the list with three videos. The first one featuring V. He ranked first with On Performance, reaching over 21 million views. Other ones are Chunku and Teemin's fan cams. Blackpink came second with three videos, two for Lisa on How You Like That Performance and one for Rosé, which ranked highly at third position for her cover song. The unexpected factor was Rujin of Itzy, ranked sixth with over 9 million views with Wannabe. So are you shocked to see how enormous the data is? With these achievements, which artists do you think will keep up the good work in 2021? Feel free to comment down below to let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because we'll come back with more interesting videos.